Hey friends, many moons ago, I asked a question in Instagram stories. What exercises do you want me to record? So this video is going to do just that. What I'm going to show you guys is if it's your first day at the gym, a few exercises that you can think of so or you can do so that you don't have to be lost and what you think about when you're doing those exercises. Then I'm also going to show you cable crunches specifically because a few people asked for that as well. The exercises that are recorded are actually from a few days ago. The noise is so loud, so I'm going to voice over probably the majority of it, if not all of it. If you think this kind of content is helpful, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from this mug, and hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video. All right, guys, let's go get started. If you guys don't know me, my name is Gia, and I'm the creator of Do It Well. Crave worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls, bread, hmm, brownies, huh, <laughs> you should check it out. And also, I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. After a five minute cardio warm up and some stretching, the first exercise I'm going to show you is leg extensions. This is going over the bottom of your shins. This pin is going to line up with your knees. Also, the backrest adjusts to change it based on the length of your legs. If you look to the side, you can adjust the weights by moving the pin or using the knob at the top to add 5 or 10 pounds to your stack. For any new exercise, make sure to use lighter weight and set a goal. For example, with whatever weight you're going to use, do it for 15 times, aka 15 reps, rest for 30 seconds, and then repeat that two more times for a total of three sets. Once you get seated, search for the handles that adjust the pad to the bottom of your shin and then place it at the bottom of your shin, then look for the other handle that pushes the pad towards you. Hold on to the grips and slowly lift your legs upwards and at the top of your movement, flex your quadriceps. The next exercise is for the back of your thighs, your hamstrings. These are seated leg curls. Set your weight using the stack to your side Remember to use lighter weight and set a goal, something like 15 reps and 3 sets like we talked about earlier, aka that's 15 times, rest, and then repeat 2 more times for 3 total sets. Each machine, guys, is going to be a little bit different, but the concepts are pretty much the same. This one has a pin, so you can change where the pad goes behind your, behind your legs. You want it between the bottom of your calves and your ankle. You also have a pad that adjusts the starting point of your exercise. Because we're pushing down with our legs on this seated hamstring curl, we want the pad at the highest possible point but is still comfortable for you. After that, you can then use another pad to push against your thighs. Just pull out the pin and push the pad against your thighs to keep your legs in place. Once settled in, push down with your legs. This next machine is for your back. It's a high row machine. Although it looks like a normal seat, you'll be sitting down and putting your stomach and chest towards the pad. This one is literally called the high row machine. All machines should have pictures and instructions on it. Don't be shy to take the time to read them, guys. If you feel awkward reading the signs, remember that I'm pointing a camera to myself and talking to myself while pointing at the signs and there were tons of people at the gym. As you take a look at the seat, guys, adjust it towards your height. Essentially, you want the seat to be where the pad in front of you is sitting really at your chest or pressing against your chest and your stomach. You guys can see me sitting down with my back arch, my chest is up. I'm going to grab the handles above me. My feet are going to go on the pads in front. The thing that you'll recognize guys is as I pull down, I'm imagining that my elbows are going on a downward path and while they're not literally going that same direction, I'm imagining that I'm sort of pulling my elbows towards my spine. So I'm really trying to contract my back. 
The other thing that you'll notice, guys, is there's two sets of weights moving here. Some machines will have two weights, one for either side of your body. That's just to help make sure that each body side is pulling weights independently instead of maybe the left side getting a lot more assistance from the right side, vice versa. The next machine that I have for you guys here is leg press. It's a full leg workout. It has a weight stack like you saw on the other machines. And then it has a handle so that you can adjust how far back or how far forward you want to start. My recommendation is to start as forward as possible but making sure it's in a comfortable enough position. See I'm pushing all the way up without locking out my knees. You should feel this throughout your entire leg, especially your hamstrings, your quads, and if you're doing if you're keeping your bum down to the seat, your bum as well. You can use different stands to target different muscles. I won't get into those details now, but I just you saw me just switch from a more narrow stance to a wider stand. This is my viewpoint of me getting to the seat. I put my feet up on the pad equally far apart. I set my seat to a comfortable distance, which is the closest possible setting. I have my weight set, and then I'm going to start pushing. Remember, I am not locking out my knees. This is what locking out looks like. This is not locking out. So as I'm pushing, I'm pushing with my entire foot, not just my t the, the balls of my feet and not just the heels of my feet. I'm really pushing with my entire foot. This next exercise are cable crunches for your abs, your stomach. Uh, a lot of people ask for this. A lot of people try this exercise, but don't actually feel the burn. So I'm going to walk you through this right now. You're going to want to use the cable machines. Use the rope extension, put it to the highest possible setting and set your weight. I've got it set to 100, but that's pretty light for me. If you haven't done this before, I would suggest you start at 30 pounds, 40 pounds and try 20 reps, right? 20 repetitions and see if you're starting to feel that burn. If not, uh, try a few more reps. Do an additional five reps until you can feel the burn, feel your abs engaged. It's more important for you to feel your abs engaged versus at a lower weight than going at a higher weight and not feeling your abs engaged. You're going to want to grab the rope extensions. I imagine pinning my elbow to my ears and my pivot point is not my hip, but rather my abdomen, my stomach area, my belly button. So where I'm actually turning, curving is at my stomach area because I'm contracting my abs as I move downwards. Another technique that might help you guys out in engaging your abs is inhale upward and exhale and squeeze your gut. Don't worry about what your gut looks like during this exercise. You're getting engaged, so don't worry about a little bit of flubber getting squished together. The other thing that I want you guys to notice is I'm trying my hardest to keep my bum in place. Instead of again hinging at my hips, I'm really hinging at my belly button. The other thing that might help you guys in feeling your abdomens engaged is pausing at that bottom of the movement and really contracting your abs as though somebody had just punched you. This next machine is the chest press for your chest, your pectoral muscles. Look at the sign on the machine. Just like many of the other machines that we've looked at, there's a handle at the bottom of the seat to adjust the seat height. Adjust it to a position where the handles you're using are at your chest height, towards the middle of your chest, upper chest. Really take a look at the stickers on the machine and do what it recommends because different machines work out different parts of your pectoral muscles of your chest. Adjust the weight to something that's light, but you can feel resistance. Then as you sit back, press your back against your back pad and angle your arms such that your elbow is behind your wrist. And another thing to keep in mind guys is make sure your elbows are never higher than your wrists. As you push outward, you should really feel like you're pushing your elbows towards your chest. 
If you're planning to do cardio, I recommend to do it after your weight. So you use your energy with the weights and then whatever else you have left in cardio. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I am going to cut it off now. And uh, again, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Thanks, guys. See you later.